Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Ken and I'll be doing another unboxing video today and today we have the uh, successor of the RX100 Mark V which I have right here and it's actually not the successor I would say because all seven models are I believe are still in production which is a, a unique case for any cameras so let's unbox this right now So we have the case UV filter. Normally, like I don't get uh, UV filters with these kind of cameras, but uh, but there was one occasion where I came out from a mall which has just like full on AC, and then outside it was like 30 degrees, and I came out from the mall and the glass, uh, the front element of the lens of this of this RX100, it was just all foggy. So. Um, and it was kind of hard to clean because with the with the lens right here for the RX100 series, it's kind of inside like it's kind of like tucked in a little bit. So that's why I'm getting the UV filter. Not that um, not for the scratch so much because it, it's tucked in. But uh, anyway, so we have that filter, and then we also have this. What's this? Oh, so that's the rubber um, grip. That's a tiny as rubber grip. That's the most tiny rubber grip I have ever seen. It's like, it's like two fingers right here. So I'm probably gonna just put this on my RX100 Mark V and use this on the Mark 7. So here we have the Mark 7. So this is the RX100 Mark 7. And the thing about this camera is that the price right now is just for one inch C CMOX It's actually quite expensive for, for a camera like this But uh, we are doing more of the videos work right now And for the videos it's more about just the content uh, I'm not saying that the pictures are not about the content But for videos, even if you're shooting on a phone or something like this If the story and the content is good then it kind of it, that's what it matters uh, as of for the photos it really kind kind of comes down to a lot more aspect of maybe the picture quality and things like that because for the application i would say it's kind of a little bit different but uh let's just see what the rx100 mark 7 has inside the box so as usual this is the uh, china mainland version which has all the paper stuff so again we already have this the same thing inside the rx100 the charging case the cable is still a usb 2.0 not the type c we have a strap that i'm never going to use we also have these uh, clips and the battery and there we have it for the mark 7 it's actually slightly heavier it feels quite a bit beefier than the Mark V. That's the first thing I do every time I open a camera, the screen protector. It's just like a personal habit thing, like yeah, actually, like same the Mark V. It looks like everything's pretty similar. Um, so I bought this small rig cage about it's about a week before I bought the RX Seven. Nowadays, I just like don't buy as much um, photo cameras anymore, but uh, just. But more on focusing more on buying things that I would bring everywhere with me and that I would actually use. Because I find myself to have the habit or the tendency of leaving the cameras at home most of the time. Whereas with these smaller cameras, I would definitely consider bringing them out. So we have this just fit perfectly.
And that's what's so smart about this small rear case since because the thing about most of the RX100L bracket or place is that it blocks the battery open door. Since the tripod feet is right there, I mean the one for screw. But uh, with this, you can get the battery right out. So you don't have to take, take the plate or the whole case off every time, which is a huge benefit in terms of saving time. They also made a new one where where it actually covers half of the body, so not the whole grip, but I got this one and I found out that just came out. So I guess I'll just stick with this one for now, which is decent size and probably still, it's still pocketable. I would say this just became like, a, it's still smaller than an X100F, which I, the other camera that I have. And it's definitely a little bit bigger than the Mark 5 right now after the the beefing up with the cage and all that, but uh, um, it's got that horseshoe right here, and also right here for the external microphone and recorder if I do need it. There we have it for the RX100 Mark 7, the extremely expensive one inch camera. Oh man, that 200 millimeter reach and look at just how long that lens is. So I'm gonna have fun with this and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks, bye.